Are welcome in this space. Let's learn together and seek his face. I'm Lem Phil, y'all, aka Bad Gamer Elite, your host for this Sound Maiden podcast, sponsored by LifeFest.com. God Games and Geekery gives us an opportunity every Tuesday to chat about the crossroads of my passions and my faith. I can't wait to learn and discuss with you. Let's talk about some of my favorite angry, geeky characters. The Hulk, in almost every iteration of the character, is powerful because of his anger. Even in his Mr. Fix-It Gray Hulk days, he wasn't a ray of sunshine either. He even, as Mr. Fix-It, hung out with one of the most ragey Marvel characters ever, Wolverine. Wolverine, or Logan as some know him, could often be found falling into a berserker rage that not only hurt his foes, but damaged his friends. In the video game Warframe, there's a character named Valkyr whose ultimate ability is so very similar to Logan's that I'll call it Berserker Rage. She yells and slashes her foes with plasma claws. I'm sure you can think of some more, but this concept of rage isn't new to our geeky culture. As a matter of fact, in a room of 10 geeks, I could start a major conflict in five words. Star Wars or Star Trek? While some of these anger issues can be helpful to our favorite superheroes, it can be detrimental to us folks in the real world. Anger triggers the fight or flight response, which fills us with adrenaline. Normally, this isn't a bad thing. But if we have too much of this, the medical community says we are in danger. They place chronic anger in the same playing field as smoking or high cholesterol. You know, I find I don't feel anger when I'm hanging with my friends and enjoying great music. Life Fest in Oshkosh, Wisconsin is an amazing party with a purpose. I've been going since 2005. One of my favorite bands, Skillet, is just one of over 100 acts that are planned for 2020. Check them out at lifefest.com today. Anger and the dangers from it aren't a new thing. In the Bible, in the book of Genesis, chapter 4, verses 6 to 8, Cain was warned that sin or anger was knocking at the door of his heart. He let it in and we got the first murder. One of Jesus' disciples, James, gives us some amazing advice in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 19. And this is the thought I want to leave with you, my dear brothers and sisters. Take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. James is saying what we as gamers say to our friends that insist on playing Cuphead or Souls games. Take a break and start over in a bit. Getting mad is not going to help anyone. That's all for this week. I can't wait to join you once again where you live, play, and work. Remember, you are geeky, you are loved. Peace. Peace.